This morning, I weighed 177.4 pounds, and to pick this week's flavor packet, I'm going to pull a Stefan and employ my trusty TI-83+. Plus. A random integer between 1 and 76, and the answer is 16. And we see here that number 16 is fueled by Isabel. If you guys want to suggest a new method for picking the flavor packet, please do so in the comments. I'd like to find something a bit more creative. This week we're talking about video editing, and today I'm going to break down a video that I uploaded on my channel a few days ago called Sternutation. A number of people asked how it was put together, and since it's nothing super complex, I thought it would be a good way to start out the week. Now if you haven't seen it already, I implore you, pause this video, click the link below, and then come back after you're done. So everybody at this point has seen it, yes? Yes? Okay. This video consists of three separate shots. The first is of me sitting in the left chair, reading, then sneezing with unnecessary ridiculousness. <coughs> the second shot is of me flailing myself back into the right chair, then looking around in bewilderment. For the third shot, I got down on the floor and chucked the book up into the air. From there, it's simple enough to cut from the first shot <coughs> to the second shot on the sneeze. You'll notice that the sound of the sneeze doesn't carry through the cut, and part of what makes the final product effective is having it sound like there aren't any cuts at all. So here we have our two shots. We're going to take the audio from the first shot, which contains the sneeze, and drag that over into the second shot, thus ensuring that the sound of the sneeze plays out in full. Note that you may need to first unlink your audio and video before the program will let you mess with the sound without affecting the picture. Now it sounds like this. The final touch is the flying book. Now since the book's role in this clip takes place only in the upper left of the frame, we can use the tools in our editing program to crop off the right side and bottom portions of this shot. Now we'll drop this shot onto a video layer above our other two shots so that it runs simultaneously on top. <coughs> Note that you can only do this in an editing program that supports layers. Finally, we'll cut the shot of the book so that it starts at the moment I appear in the chair on the right. <coughs> If we didn't do this, that shot would obscure my face for the first half of the clip. So after dropping in a ticking clock sound to provide some ambience, we have a finished product. 